Outside, another well-travelled item has arrived, which belongs to Nick McCullen from Southampton. He's hoping leather expert Susie Fletcher can rescue it. Hello. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm Jay. I'm Nick. Oh, I'm, I'm Nick. Susie. Nice Hello. to meet you. Nice Nick. to meet you too. So, what have you brought in for us? I've brought in a, a naval rigging set. Oh. Let's have a look. This was my father's. He did national service, like a lot of men his age. Okay. So, he, he joined up at 18. Right. For two years. And then later on, he joined the Royal Naval Reserve as a seaman. And this was the rigging set he would have been issued. What would he do with this then? What... So the, you'd use it for uh, different aspects. One would be for splicing rope. As an example of Dad splicing here, so that's just one piece of rope with the two ends spliced together, so it's just made a loop. It's, made it's amazing. Yeah. Wow. You'd use uh, things like this. That's a small marlin spike. And that would be for untying knots as well as doing the splicing. And then there's this knife. Oh, wow, look at that. They call that a seaman's knife. It's a bit like the early sort of Swiss Army knife, you know. So well, how come you've got this, then? So uh, my dear dad died last year. Oh, sorry um, to hear that. I was mooching about the garage, and, I mean, this hadn't been used for probably about 40 years. Um, and it was hanging on a hook, and I remember dad wearing this. So to you actually saw your dad using this? Oh, yeah, I can remember. Mum would take us down to the docks, and it would be slung down on his right side here. And I, I can remember him sort of leaning back and picking out a knife or maybe out a spike and just wearing it. And it was just... It came familiar because it was just part of his rig. So <clears throat> what's actually wrong with it? The leather here is all crumbling away yeah. and that looks like that's been mice nibbles. I love the belt repaired. Mm -hmm. OK. And I don't know whether you can do anything without abrasion, just, just to preserve it so it doesn't deteriorate anymore and if it could just be fixed so it, it looks a bit more whole. Um, like, it's, it's still usable, right. not that it's going to be used, you know what I mean? It's been like this for 40 years, so yeah. why do you want to get it repaired now? Mm. Well, it just rides with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure it tells many stories. Mm. Yeah, it, yeah if, if, if it could speak, it yeah. probably could tell, um, tell lots of stories. Yeah. <laughs> tell you what, leave it with us. OK. Thank you. And we'll hopefully do something with it. Yeah? All right. <laughs> Thank you. All you right. Take you now. take Thank care. You. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's only 18 months since Dad's gone. He didn't have many mementos and such, so it's really nice to have something to remember him by, you know. And I just really hope that um, Susie can work her magic <laughs> and inject some life into it. I'd be really pleased. <laughs>